Good morning. So I'm trying out the microphone and active track with the drone. And I'm in the back of the house and I want to see if the drone will follow me. I think I have it low enough to avoid trees. Let's see. I think it's coming. So let's just make sure he doesn't hit the branches of that tree. And I could hear him, so that should be good enough. And I just want to make sure it's low enough that he doesn't hit any of the trees. And he's high enough that he won't hit a car. So that's a good thing. Yeah, he's still behind me. And I'm going to make a right turn here. And we'll see if he follows me down the street. And that's the clubhouse over to the left. And now we're going down townhouse street. And I think it's going a little bit below some trees. Because as you can see, the trees are pretty low here. And we're heading down in the middle of the street toward Craftsman Avenue, which is our investment house. We have tenants in there. In fact, the garage tenant is leaving the end of this month. And it's Sunday morning, August 4th. Is the guy still behind me? Yep, still tracking me. This is good. I don't know why my gears are making so much noise on my bike. We're going to make a right turn here. Not too much traffic, which is nice. And then we'll just go down here. I think these trees are high enough. Yeah, so far so good. Picking up a little speed. I don't want to go too fast and lose. Since I haven't done this at speed, I don't want to lose the signal. So he is letting me know some of the trees are low. If you hear the warning sign, the drone has sensors. He's way back. He's coming. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he slowed down to avoid some of the trees that have obstacle avoidance built in to the drone. So he'll stop, go sideways, go lower, or go higher just to avoid whatever object is in their way, which is pretty cool. And generally I'd want to have the drone in front of me, but it's difficult with all these trees for him to go backwards and I wouldn't be paying attention, I'd be focused too much on watching the drone instead of the traffic. So it'd be too dangerous. I would do it on a wide road or a bicycle path where there's not many people. Just checking to see, yeah, he's still behind me. So here's Jerry and uh, Rick's house right there. So. This is Artisan Park. This is the neighborhood that we live in. Oh, you can hear the signal. Some of the low branches. And the drone will take a little bit of a base of action before it resumes. Um, it's nice that we do have a lot of trees here, but to provide shade, especially in the hot summers. Let's see how he makes his turn. I can still hear it. Yeah, the guy's still behind me, which is good. Okay. Let's see, which way do I want to go? I may go down this street to go by our house on Craftsman. Let's see, which way am I going? Yeah, okay, I'll just turn around up here. 